are, we're kind of like on the go. Yeah, I bet you guys are busy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Kedrin. Hey. Good to see you guys. How's, uh, you know, I was actually thinking about it. it the, right now is probably uh, an interesting time to be blowing up with uh, with so much of the music industry kind of working from home. Is it, how, how has that been? Has that been, um, has that been interesting? Do you think that's given you, you more or, or maybe less opportunities? Because I feel like it could go either way. Yeah, exactly. Um, I believe more. Um, we're able to do more because it doesn't take a physical presence. Um, you, you, a lot of time you spend a whole bunch of it traveling, you know, sure. but, yeah. you know, we're able to, you know, get on the call for half an hour and, and that way we're able to do even more interviews and, and things since it's, um, uh, via, you know, technology versus taking, like I said, a physical presence. So I think we've able to, been able to accomplish a whole lot more. Yeah, yeah. I, I've noticed that with the, with this podcast, I, I feel like artists are more willing to say yes to certain things because they're like, sure, yeah, I'll jump on it. I'll be in the car. I'll do an interview there and yeah, on my <laughs> right. way to something else. So, you know, it opens up the door to uh, to do a lot of other things. Well, uh, Kedra and Janetta, thanks so much for, for joining us. I uh it's a it's a pleasure. Um, I uh, I wanted to say I <clears throat> it was funny. I was I was kind of I was rewatching some of your your performances, uh, Kedrin, and I had to uh, I had to stop myself a little bit before this interview because I I didn't want to get uh, I didn't want to be too emotional while I was talking to you. But that's how I that's how moving it is, and um, I think the the combination of uh, of your mom's words along with your delivery uh, really creates something. Uh, really moving and, and inspiring. Uh, so uh, let's, let's just maybe jump right into it. If you guys are, if you guys are ready, uh, yes. for those who, who don't know, Kedrin, uh, you, uh, you kind of have a crazy huge song right now called I Just Want to Live. And uh, you've been, uh, it's been posted by Obama, LeBron James, Nas said you were dope. Uh, I, I saw you even a little bit before on, uh, on uh, Little Big Shots with Melissa McCarthy. Uh, you performed on Ellen via phone, I, I believe, uh, like we were just talking about. That's it's makes it a lot easier to, to get to different places. Uh, you know, you've been you've been cited by Pitchfork and Time. And uh, I think your song last you checked was nearly three million views, uh, probably more now. Uh, so how, uh, how, how's it all been? Uh, you know, do you, do you remember what you were doing or, or how you felt when you started seeing some of these responses? It's um, been just amazing. And I'm just really thankful and grateful for it. And been seeing like in the comments, just um, give me encouragement, just saying like, you're so powerful and just keep using your, and so all like encouragement just to keep me going forward and like keep progressing in my gift and um, just keep on singing and working hard. Yeah, it's, 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 I'm sure it's been an amazing ride. And, and Janetta, so I, I, I heard uh, in, in another interview that you wrote this song, uh, you know, you, it was kind of a way, it was kind of a, a meditation almost, or, or maybe, maybe even a, a, a therapeutic way for you to just kind of express some of the things you were, you are probably feeling and, and you were praying about it. And, and these words kind of came to you and, uh, and then you, and then you gave those words to, uh, to Kedron and said, Hey, why don't you pray on these words for a little bit? And then he came to you. Was that the original idea where you like, these are going to be song lyrics or, and maybe just, you know, pray and then sing them to me or, or t tell us a little bit about that story. Um, you know, yeah, I, I, I echo what you said, how the song came about. Um, yes. Um, it was in my prayer and my meditation that, uh, God gave me these words after we had watched, um, the killing of Mr. Floyd. Cause I watched that. Uh, with Kedron and my daughter, we all watched it together. That, of course, um, a numerous, you know, uh, racial profiling killings before that. Uh, we had just um, watched the Ahmaud Aubrey, you know, um, killing, and just so many that led up to that. But um, when I watched the um, killing of Mr. Floyd with Kedron. Um, and my daughter and I heard when he cried out for his mother, um, that really just hit my heart in a special way because 
I've always availed myself to my children um, and, and Kedron, like if you ever need me, call for me and I'm coming. And so I just felt as a mom in that um, moment, what if that had been Kedron? It very well could have been Kedron. Um, and so I, I knew that what we are facing now with the rape, racial profiling and killings that it is so above what we can even understand what is going on because for so long we're wondering why how much longer another one another one another one and so I say God we need divine intervention um and as a woman of faith I knew where to go and so I did I went into prayer God, give me something that I can say to my son um, that can encourage what he has heard and seen so many times. And um, the Holy Spirit spoke those words to me. And I um, did give them to Kedron um, in his devotion time for him to meditate on them and to pray over those lyrics. And he did just that. Um, so definitely through prayer and meditation, um, we received the, the the words and the power to be able to um, deliver the message in the manner that it was done. Well, I <laughs> I think it's hard to argue that uh, that there was that there was a crazy effect from the prayer and the and the and you guys mm -hmm. getting together and, and putting this out. Um, Kedron, what did uh, you know? What got you into singing and, and music? I I grew up singing. Um, I started singing at the age of five or six years old, and um, when I, I used to just sing in the church and choir, and at seven years old, that's when I knew that I wanted to be a singer, and I grew up, and that was, that was going to be my career, and I guess this is um, the start of my career, so I've been singing for a while now. Singing runs in the family, so um, we, my whole family sings, so I just always had a passion for music. Okay, so it seems like your mom's been a great advocate and and support uh, for your for your career thus far. Do you do you have any other people in your life like that who, who've who've kind of helped you get to where you are as far as uh, your your love for music and where you're at? Well, I just put my faith all in God. Also, just um, I just know that He called me to do this and that I'm ready for it. So um, I just just try to put in the work and. Um, it pays off, um, as I can see. Um, yeah. So I just <laughs> hard hard to argue that. So you you says your your love for music kind of runs in the family, and uh, so so you had this song, and um, and then eventually it started picking up momentum. Uh, was that when Warner Records kind of came came knocking, or or were they part of that? Did did they see something maybe a little bit before some other people did? And said, "Hey, we can we can kind of blow this up for you." How did how did that partnership uh, with with Warner Records happen? Um. Well, um. When I made the video, we I I just like on my page, on my Instagram page. I don't just um uh, like partner with people. Like that's what I just normally do. I just make a bunch of singing videos. The and but I never knew Warner Records at the time, and. I posted the video and it went viral and um, the, it's this man that put a beat on it and he had a connection with Warner Records and he connected me, Warner Records, and we were on Zoom just talking about how Warner Records organization is. And that's when Warner Records said that they wanted to sign me on their label and bring me into the family. So that's how um, it all came about for Warner Records. Yeah, it's such a cool story because it was a, it was an acapella uh, to to begin with, and uh, and 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 then for someone to take that acapella and and uh, and and throw the beat on it and uh, and for it to blow up the way it did, it's it's a, it's a crazy story. Uh, so you know what uh, what can we expect next from you? Actually, Jeanette, I did want to ask you because uh, you know this uh, obviously you wrote this uh, these lyrics and and then uh, and then Kedron sang them and and it was such a such a big reaction. Did have you written songs before? Is this was this something that you were you've always been interested in? It it, it hasn't been something that I've always 
always been interested in. I had other dreams and aspirations. Um, but for me, like in the last year, I found myself like writing songs. Um, but I mean, they're all on paper, you know, in a journal. Um, and so I guess now I said, wow, Mater, you know, sometimes you just never really know. I didn't like set out to be this person, but I do um, know that even in my calling, my ministerial calling, that um, God speaks to me and gives me things that I tend to jot them down. Um, and so it, it's a newfound um, calling on my life, you know, I would, I would say. So even at the age of 38, I'm still learning like who I am, you know, and my purpose on earth. And I feel that this is definitely one that um, has been revealed and uncovered and discovered. So I'm, I'm thankful for it. So, uh, so Kedron, have you been talking about talking to your mom about uh, writing some new stuff and then you guys are going to collab again? Is that, is that the plan? I'm in LA right now, actually working on an oh, album. Okay. So yeah, I'm working on the album and I'm shooting the music video for I Just Want to Live. So I'm just um, working on some songs right now. Great. All right. So, so Janetta, you, you got some, some new stuff cooking? Yes. All right. So you guys yes. are just, you guys are just down the street. I'm in, I'm in Los Angeles right now too. So, uh, so we're, we're not too far <laughs> despite us being on a zoom call. Uh, so I gotta say, I think it's, it's pretty awesome. Kedron that, uh, Warner records is, is donating a hundred percent of the, uh, the net profits to, uh, the NAACP for uh, for this record, and I heard uh, Amazon uh, donated proceeds uh, from uh, from the streams on Juneteenth as well. And and uh, and last uh, last you checked, it it racked up over fifty thousand uh, dollars, which is a crazy uh, you know contribution. Uh, how's it feel to have made such an impact, both you know socially and, and now financially? Um, I'm just getting really grateful and thanking me this opportunity. So it's just been um, great. I'm just really grateful for all of it and for what's to come in the future. Well, hey, I, I love the message of equality and love that that you guys are spreading. So so keep doing it. Um, I, I We do have a last question that we, we like to ask all of our artists. Um, and uh, and I know you're just getting started in Kedron, but, uh, but I think you've already had a lot of experiences that uh, a lot of aspiring artists probably haven't even had or, or may not even dreamed of yet. Uh, but what advice would you give to to aspiring artists? Just um, always just keep you the faith in you and always keep the faith in God because um, you you can do things that you might never even dream of. So I just I would just say just to keep on walking with faith and keep your head up and never doubt yourself and just always um, trust in God because he will guide you through the right path and, um, just keep on holding on and keep on putting in the work, um, it may feel, um, through with the paths and you may have some hard times, but just keep pushing and, um, keep progressing in your gift. Great. Thanks, Kedron. Those are great words. Uh, Janetta, any, any advice for aspiring artists? I mean, you, you yourself, uh, went from uh, not even expecting to be doing this to actually, you know, doing this on a level that that some would only dream. So do you, do you have any advice for aspiring artists? Yes, I would like to just encourage you to never give up. It's never too late. Um, keep reaching, keep digging, keep believing in yourself. Um, and even the newly things that you discover by your, um, about yourself as you um, go through life's journey, be open and welcome to the new things that you will learn about who you are because self-discovery is ongoing. Um, and I can attest to that in um, that I didn't foresee this for myself. However, there was a, that gift was there that I didn't even know about. Um, and so always just be attentive um, and pay a, a attention to um, yourself. And there's so much more in you than you probably even think. Um, so don't don't be afraid of the unknown and new things. Embrace them. Bring it back for you.